Alright, so we're gonna use Brick Break on Gramble, obviously, and it does quite a bit of damage. Yeah, so he, he seems to be focused on physical attack, and oh... I never remember him using Hyper Beam either, but yeah, it's no surprise that Mantine didn't survive that. I mean, Breloom is 11 levels higher than him. And plus, he's good with special defense, not physical defense, so... Stanley might not be a bad idea, because he's immune to normal type attacks, so... Yeah, why don't we try Stanley, but then again... Crystal can pretty much smite Breloom, so why don't we try that instead? Yeah, because with Psychic, yeah. <laughs> and, um... Gonzap also has a... Oh, I didn't think he'd use it too. On... Oh. Yeah, I probably should have switched into Mischievous. Oh god, that was... That, that, that was bad. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm stuck with Mischievous, but... Gonzap also has a Gyarados, and in my la in all my other playthroughs, I normally use Ampharos, so I can normally get rid of that really quickly, but in this case, I'm not using Ampharos, so his Gyarados might be a pretty big problem for me. Um, so both of those Pokémon are... what's the word? Not able to attack, because they just use Hyper Beam, so... Um, I could just make sure Gramble goes down, you know, use Psy Beam and Brick Break, but... Yeah, why don't we do that? And Brick Break. And the Brick Break kills it by itself, and that's fine. I can just... Oh, okay. So yeah, now Mischievous will use Shadow Ball and whatever he sends out. It'll, it'll either be Machamp or Gyarados, because those are his only two Pokemon left. <laughs> okay, so... This battle is not going as well as it was previously, but... We're still ahead, you know. I, th I, th I, th I think it's 3-3, three to three, actually. So, yeah. And, oh, Psybeam! Okay, I thought he was Shadow Ball, but okay, so I think it's much better. Okay, Breloom's recharging, that's what it was. Okay, um... Yeah, Mischievous is immune to all fighting-type attacks, so Mischievous is, like, invincible here, almost. Um... We could use... Hmm. I'm thinking Psybeam and Earthquake. Because I know Earthquake isn't going to do that much to Breloom, so if, if I have a Psybeam behind that, then I can get rid of Breloom. Yay! Strategy, and I know Machamp isn't resistant to Earthquake, so... Okay, that doesn't do too much, but better than... yeah. So, let's get rid of Breloom. And now he lives... You know, yeah, 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 Pancakes. <laughs> he only has two Pokémon left, Machamp and Gyarados. Okay. Still going pretty well. But, like I said earlier, Gyarados might be a problem. Hmm, I should probably start figuring out, a, figuring out a strategy for this. I could try confusing it, that's not a bad idea. And he's powering up once again. Yeah, I really don't remember him doing this kind of strategy, just kind of buffing up and then using Hyper Beam. I don't recall him doing that at all, so kind of weird. I confuse Ray on Gyarados, and then Earthquake's not gonna hit Gyarados, so maybe it'd be in our best interest to use Detect for now. But hmm. I don't know, kind of a weird situation. Yeah, we'll, we'll just use Earthquake. And full restore, really? Re really? Ugh. Well, I guess it's a good thing I, I didn't use Detect, because he didn't even try hitting any of my Pokémon, so... Okay, still kind of iffy about how this battle's gonna end, because my only other Pokémon left is Umbreon, and Umbreon isn't the best, so... Uh god, I, re I really wish he hadn't used that full restore, but... Alright, let's confuse Gyarados. That might help. Hmm. <laughs> Confuse Ray. Yeah, it's funny, because I troll people with Confuse Ray. <laughs> okay, um... Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do at this point. <laughs> um... I guess we could just stick with Psybeam, and... Or, 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 or I could try Confusing him, that would help. Okay, and then... Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the tail. <laughs> Let's try... I really don't have a choice. Use Detect! <laughs> oh, wow, that did, that did a lot of damage. Dang. <laughs> awesome. And now let's see if Machamp can hit himself as well. Yeah, normally I get pretty lucky with Confuse Ray, which is good. Very, very good. And I just realized Machamp wasn't animated very well in this game, and wow, he got hit too. Okay. Alright, and... Nothing really else to do but use Psybeam and Earthquake at this point, so... Wow, I'm getting really lucky, okay. <laughs> this battle's going pretty well, actually. 
because I mean Umbreon isn't the best, but he can at least but he, he can at least tank attacks and you know use fan attack and toxic and stuff. So if if I need to use Umbreon, then that's fine. Okay, that did a bit more damage than I thought it would. All right, hit yourself. Come on. Oh, Hyper Beam. Why would you teach your? Okay, I guess. I guess before the fourth generation, Hyper Beam wouldn't be the worst idea for a Machamp, champ, but still, it just it, it it's just weird. All right, to go for a go. Hmm, I should probably make sure I get rid of Machamp, though, because Machamp, of course, knows fighting type moves, which can smite Umbreon easily, so... Sky Beam, and... Yeah, I guess I should probably use Toxic, but I'm kind of confident that Fan Attack will do a bit of damage, so why don't we do that? Oh, darn. Wow! Okay, that's lucky. I've been getting really lucky in this fight, but that's just too much. <laughs> and that goes Machamp. There's only Pokémon left, Gyarados. In this fight, Gyarados has probably been the biggest annoyance, so... <sighs> okay. Fan attack. Can I get a critical? R random critical? <laughs> oh, that didn't do very much damage at all. Yeah, I probably should suck with Toxic. Never too late to use Toxic, I guess. Um, Shadow Ball... And... Toxic. Full Restore. You, sure. I'm pretty sure Full Restore doesn't cure Confusion. I'm almost certain it doesn't, but it might. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see here. Okay, he's toxic. That's good. Yeah, I figured this way, e e even if I can barely hit him at all, you know. And, okay, he's poisoned. Okay, so we won't see this turn if Confusion is healed or not, but it's fine. And in case it isn't, might as well just use Confuse Ray again, and then we'll start beating it down with an attack. Yeah, it isn't Confuse anymore, okay. Actually, I'm in kind of a funny situation right now, because... Assuming Umbreon dies, I'm still invincible, because it seems as though Gyarados' only attacking move is Hyper Beam. And of course, Mishuas is immune to that, so... That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> I guess, there aren't that many good Ghost-type Pokémon in this game, so it doesn't surprise me that they didn't intend you to use a Ghost-type Pokémon, but still. Okay, Poison's doing quite a bit of damage, that's good. This is getting kind of annoying now. Shadow Ball, and attack. Must recharge, that's good. Uh, so while we're slowly beating down Gyarados, um, recently, or mainly just yesterday, I was trying to record my next LP, well, just testing to see if I'd be able to do it. And right now I'm having a bit of trouble, so the wait between now and my next LP might be a while. Of course, after the post-game of Coliseum, I, I, I will be finishing Epic Yarn first, so and Confusion defeats him. How fitting, I guess? Sure, why not? And Gyarados dies in a very strange way. But down goes Gonzap. Okay, we won. I was kind of worried about that fight, but... I have a feeling that if he didn't go with the whole power-up Hyper Beam strategy, that would've been a lot harder. But whatever, I will happily go with it. The way things are, I won't give you the satisfaction of asking why you blew up the hideout and abandoned Team Snagum. But you remember this, so long as I breathe, Team Snagum will rise from the shadows again. And with it will come your downfall. Live in fear. Gwahaha! And he walks off. That's kind of anticlimactic, but whatever. The D-Disc, the D we use this to get to the Deep Coliseum, which is where we find Shadow Shuckle. And yeah, we're gonna have, we're about to get swamped by emails that tell us that, so. And um, I would like to end the episode off here, but there's still some things that I want to get done first. Now for one, I'd like to explain something. After this video, I'm going to cover the Under Coliseum. And then after that, I'm going to spend probably multiple videos covering um, covering the Deep Coliseum. Maybe one or two, I really don't know. But for that video, since, since it's going to take so long to do it, I'm actually going to do something a bit special. You can... well, whether I have co-commentators or not, you can leave comments in any of the post-game parts of this LP asking us to talk about something in that Deep Coliseum part. Now, I'm almost certain I'm going to have at least two, or probably two exactly. I'll, I'll probably have two co-commentators for that video. So, yeah, just so, so just tell us what you want to hear us talk about, if you have any questions, if you want to hear our opinions about anything that's going on. Um, if you want to pretty much know what we normally talk about, just go to some of the other Coliseum videos.
That was an annoying battle. Okay. And by the way, my Flygon was frozen today! <laughs> okay, so what we basically just need to do now is activate a few more emails. Um, I know that next we need to go to the under, so... I guess we might as well stop at a few places on the way, try and activate some emails once again. Yeah, the post game's kind of annoying with these emails, isn't it? Hmm. Normally it's one or two areas, so we should activate one right now, please. Please. My character looks so weird. Uh, not quite yet. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Hmm. Oh well. But he, um, the boss dropped the D-disc, so we can at least go to the under and use that. So we're gonna go do that right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. And I love how the GameCube controller like vibrates whenever you get an email. Who is this? I it's bit in the under. I was taking photos the other day when I saw this guy with this amazing head. Um, so I snapped him. <laughs> he was singing the weird this weird song, something about the Coliseum being his new place. And that's Mirror B. Okay, so I guess he was using the D disc as well. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. As soon yeah, getting around in the under is really just annoying overall. Okay, let's make our way over here. Gotta walk all the way down here. Interact the thingy. Put in the D disc. D disc, thank you. And there's one more disc there's one more disc that we can get, but it's like right here, so. Yeah, so let's go down. That's what D stands for. <laughs> Jijus can teleport apparently. So yeah, first we were in Pirate Town, then we are in the Under, and now we're in the Deep. Yeah, this game is very creative. <laughs> but here is an item. One Steel Teeth. That's... what a wonderful item to get. But, um... I think if we walk in there, we, we activate the Deep Coliseum, so I'm not gonna go in there quite yet. Oh no, we, we, oh, no, we, we don't activate it, we just... okay. There's like a little confirmation area. Okay. So now that we have these steel teeth, we are going to run back down here. This video's going on forever, probably around half an hour now. And put in the F-disc. I, I, I might cut this in half, actually, so... F-disc. And now we make our way over here, and do you see that old guy over there? Yeah, he's, he's, he's ugly because he's old, no one loves him. But we need to give him the steel teeth. That's old people language. Hand over to Steel Teeth to this old man. No! Okay, fine. Sean handed over to Steel Teeth. Hrmph! Pokemon Pikachu picked it. What? Oh, no more air leakage. Oh, I can finally talk normally again. You're a savior. I thank you for your kindness. It's perhaps not much of a thanks, but I'd like you to have this. And it's the L-Disc. I have another one, so don't concern yourself over me. So using the L-Disc, we go... Gasp! We go left! Oh my god! It's revolutionary! And yeah, throughout the... Throughout the entire game, you've probably been wondering what that item is over there. If I remember correctly, it's kind of a dumb reward. I think it's just a few hyper potions. So yeah, it kind of sucks. Let's go see. It is one amulet coin. Oh, that's actually pretty good. If you... Oh, it's transferred to the PC. That kind of sucks. But if you give it to one of your Pokemon and you win a battle with them, you get twice as much money as you usually would. I'm not sure how that transfers to, to the Coliseum matches. I think it does actually give you double reward throughout the like for, for the entire Coliseum if you have one of your Pokemon holding an amulet coin, so that's pretty worthwhile. Okay, and now I'm gonna pretty much end the video off on the on the note of us kind of going to the under Coliseum so that we can cover that. Once again, I'm trying to cover all of the Coliseums in the game, and during the main game at Pokemon War 2 on their level to take on the Under Coliseum, so we're gonna take it on now. So next time, we're going to do the Under Coliseum, and then after that, we're going to do the Deep Coliseum. I'll see you guys then.